Just recently, the U.S. Air Force began taking delivery on Boeing's new and improved F-15EX, which is a fourth generation fighter that's drawn its fair share of controversy in recent months. This purchase marks the first time the Air Force has bought an F-15 in more than 20 years, prompting some critics to question the logic behind investing hundreds of millions of dollars into an old workhorse fighter in this era of advanced stealth technology. At around the same price per plane as Lockheed Martin's F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, the Air Force's decision to purchase new, old F-15s may sound odd indeed, but there's more to this decision to consider than the initial costs alone. The first thing you really need to know is that the F-15EX is not the same as America's existing F-15s. The U.S. currently maintains a fleet of around 230 F-15s in various trims, mostly C or D. These jets represent the crux of America's fourth generation air intercept fighters. America purchased many of them starting in 1979, making them extremely old by comparison to technological marvels like the F-35. However, despite America putting an end to the F-15 orders decades ago, America's allies in nations like Saudi Arabia and Qatar have continued to invest in the platform, funding significant upgrades and updates for subsequent fighter purchases over the years. All told, these nations have invested over $5 billion into improving this jet. The end result is a new and improved F-15 GM packed with the latest aviation tech without any of the associated research and development costs you'd usually have. This new F-15, dubbed the F-15EX, boasts updated cockpit systems, an enhanced sensor suite, and data fusion capabilities. The ability to carry up to 29,500 pounds of ordnance that it can split into 12 air-to-air hardpoints or 15 air-to-ground hardpoints. Its new twin engines aren't just more efficient, they're also more powerful, making the fastest fighter in America's inventory even faster. With that out of the way, the next thing that you need to know is that the F-15EX doesn't have the same job as the F-35. Many critics of the F-15EX program have a habit of comparing the fighter to America's most advanced Joint Strike Fighter. And to be fair, the F-35 is indeed more capable than the F-15 in a number of ways. The thing is, comparing these two jets is sort of like comparing a top fuel dragster to a Formula One IndyCar. Sure, they're both technically cars, but they were designed to do very different things. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter was built to follow in the F-16 Fighting Falcon's footsteps as a capable multi-role fighter that places an emphasis on air-to-ground engagements in highly contested airspace. That's why the F-35 can only carry four bombs or missiles while flying stealth missions, so it can maintain a tiny radar profile and avoid detection or targeting. The F-15, on the other hand, is a purpose-built air superiority fighter intended to do battle with other fighters in the sky. The F-22 Raptor, not the F-35, can be seen as the next technological step in this role, but because the F-22 program was shut down only about halfway through its production run, the U.S. is purchasing new F-15s to fill the roles currently occupied by old F-15s and our limited supply of F-22s. And that brings us to our next important point, which is not every mission needs an expensive stealth fighter. The biggest complaint about the F-15EX is that we could be using that money allocated to Boeing to buy more F-35s from Lockheed Martin. But that argument has a couple of significant flaws. While the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is a more modern and more capable platform, it's also far more expensive to operate more difficult to repair, and still has a number of glaring issues that Lockheed Martin is continuing to iron out. The Air Force is already working with Lockheed Martin to find ways to reduce the operating costs of the F-35 because the Air Force is genuinely concerned that once all of their orders have been filled, they won't be able to afford to keep all those planes flying. The F-15EX, on the other hand, is expected to have a mind-boggling 20,000-hour lifespan, and may end up costing around half as much as the F-35 to operate by the hour. In uncontested airspace where the F-35 stealth isn't of use, 
it makes sense to employ cheaper fourth generation jets like the F-15, F-16, and F-A-18 that can carry far more ordnance into the fight and won't break the bank. So, while the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is indeed an incredible aircraft, even with all its problems, it just isn't the most practical one for a lot of the missions that the US Air Force is flying today. And that's why they decided to buy new F-15s instead of new F-35s. Make sure you swing by sandboxnews.com today and every day to learn all about the F-15EX, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, and every other issue that's pressing on today's defense apparatus. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe below this video and make sure you hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from Sandbox News.